Now we'll use Sokotoa in uh, solving word problems in trigonometry. The first word problem that we're going to be working on is a six meter long ladder leans against a building. And if the ladder makes an angle of 60 degrees with the ground, how far up the wall does the ladder reach? And how far from the wall is the base of the ladder? So we need to round our answer to two decimal places um, in order to get our answer. Now, in trigonometry, it is very important that you can visualize the word problem and associate it with a right triangle. So let's dissect the word problem and let's organize the word problems by what is given and what we need to find. So the given values in the word problem is the length of the ladder. According to the word problem, the length of the ladder is 6 meters with an angle of 60 degrees formed by the ladder with the ground. Now, there are two questions that we need to answer here. The first question is how far the ladder reached the wall, and the second one is how far is the base of the ladder from the wall. So let's work out the first problem that we are supposed to answer. So here's my diagram. So here's your building, here's your ladder, and here's the ground and the ladder, and the angle that is formed by the ladder with the ground. So we are given the uh, measurement of the ladder, which is 6 meters, and also the angle that is formed, which is 60 degrees. We need to find the height of the ladder when it's leaning on the wall, and also the base of uh, your ladder from the building. So let's transpose our diagram or illustration into a right triangle. So this is our right triangle. So since we're working out the first problem, we are going to find out the uh, height of the building and or the wall against the ladder. So we are given the hypotenuse, which is 6 meters, and we are looking for x, which is your opposite, given that the angle is 60 degrees. So using our SOKOTOA, sine, cosine, and tangent, if we are given an opposite and hypotenuse side, we are going to use sine because those are the given values in our word problem. So to answer the first question, how far the ladder reached the wall, we will use sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So once again, you need to refer to your diagram and to your SOKOTOA to be able to choose the correct formula for a specific problem. So let's solve the first problem. So this is our triangle, our right triangle, 60 degrees, given the hypotenuse, which is 6, we need to find the opposite side, which is x. The equation is sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. By substitution, we are given theta, which is 60 degrees, and x, which is missing, all over the hypotenuse, which is 6 meters. By cross-multiplication, our equation will be 6 times sine 60 degrees equal to x. Now, you need to use your calculator to find your answer here. And make sure that when you're using your calculator, you are in degree mode. Now, it's important that you're in degree mode because every calculator has its own settings. So make sure that your setting is in your degree mode to get 5.196 as your answer. Now, if in your calculator you're not getting 5.196, you need to check the mode of your calculator and make sure that it's in degree mode. So therefore, since x is equal to 5.196, we are able to answer the first question. The ladder reached the wall at approximately 5.20 meters based on our work right here. Now, to answer the second question, the second question is how far is the base of the ladder from the wall? So we have our triangle and we are given 6 meters from the original problem and now we're looking for y which is the base or the length of the base of your ladder from the wall. So since we have the hypotenuse and we have the adjacent side, we are using cosine for our formula this time. So cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse which gives us adjacent which is missing all over 6 meters, which is your hypotenuse. Now, using cross-multiplication, cosine 60 multiplied by 6 is equal to y. So again, using your calculator, 6 times cosine 60 degrees will give you 3. So the value of your y is equal to 3, and we can answer now the problem, which is the length of the base of the ladder from the wall is measured at 3 meters, and that is by using your SOKOTOA. Now, the second word problem that we're going to be working on is still with the ladder in the building. But now, it's 
asking us to, let's say, let's read the problem. A five meter long ladder leans against a wall with the top of the ladder being four meters above the ground. What is the pr approximate angle that the ladder makes with the ground? Now, this time we are looking for the given or the measure of the angle made by the ladder with the ground. So let's a organize our word problem with givens and the, the answers that, or the questions that we need to answer. So given that the length of the ladder is 5 meters and the height of the ladder made by leaning against the wall is 4 meters, what is the approximate measure of the angle formed by the ladder with the ground? Given the illustration, this is your measurement for the ladder and this is the height of your building against the ladder or your ladder against the building and we are looking for x or the degree measure. Translating it into a right triangle, now we have the hypotenuse and the opposite side. And we're now looking for x degrees, or the angle that we need to find using our SOKATOA. Now, since we have opposite and hypotenuse, we will use sine formula to solve our triangle. So sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which gives us sine x equal to 4 over 5 because x is what we're looking for, theta is now x. Now, since we need to solve for x, we need to get rid of sine by x. And to do that in trigonometry, to get rid of sine, you need to multiply both sides by sine inverse. So if you multiply sine inverse by sine, it will cancel out, and now you are left with x. So x is equal to sine inverse times 4 over 5. So you will need to use your calculator to solve for sine in inverse 4 over 5. And with your calculator, it will give you 53.13 degrees. Now once again, make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. So x is equal to 53.13 degrees, and now we're able to answer the word problem. The angle formed by the ladder with the ground is approximately equal to 53.13 degrees based on our SOKATOA.